Hey guys, uh, welcome to Lector TV. Uh, this is Jaime. I'm here uh, at uh, Embedded World in Nuremberg, Germany. And well, as you can see, I'm in the I'm uh, here in the Mauser stand. And well, uh, they've been uh, showcasing some uh, products from several uh, manufacturers they're distributing. And this uh, caught my attention easily. Uh, so I wanted to to explain to you guys what's going on. This this is a, a chip. Uh, by analog devices, you probably know them, and it's a mainly uh, analog to digital converter. And the thing is that the application of this of this board is, uh, as you can see, is a spectroscopy. That means, uh, if you're not uh, familiar with spectroscopy, that means that we will be able to, so to say, match uh, chemical compounds, or in this case, is uh, we're comparing two fluids. As you can see, we have a. Here, this uh, transparent fluid uh, here is water, so we'll be using uh, water like as a offset value, so to say, is the neutral, uh, our zero point. And the other one is, imagine, just like an unknown fluid, so we actually don't know the, the elements, you know, the, the, the composition. So this system uh, mainly consists on an LED, I don't know if my cameraman <laughs> can show it, but you can see here an uh, RGB LED right here. And here you can see also two photo transistors, I think, photo diodes, yeah, in these sides. So this RGB uh, LED, what's going to do is uh, it's going to switch uh, first to red, then to green, and then to blue. And it's going to capture the absorbance uh, of light, and it's going to tell us it's going to store the values and we'll be able to compare these values uh, you know, with another sample and see if, if, they're, if they're the same uh, co chemical composition. So, so I'm going to do it right now, I'm going to make a demo. And well, the, and the, the other thing is just an FPGA board that is you know, interfacing with the, the computer we have here. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is uh, analyze the sample. So I'm just going here on this uh, application. Now it's warming up LED. That means that you know it's, uh, the system is waiting until the, the uh, light is stable to take the readings. Now warming up green, same, takes the readings. And warming up blue, and it takes the readings again. Okay, and now we got some results here that we're going to, to store. And in theory, we don't know what's this, but we know it's, uh, it's whiskey, actually. No, no, it's not whiskey, seriously. <laughs> no, the guys told me that it's apple juice. So we're gonna save it and we're gonna call it uh, apple juice, yeah, apple. Apple, perfect, we're there. And, okay, imagine, uh, now I have, now I, I compared, I know what this, so I just, uh, other day, I just take the this liquid out and try it you know, put some other liquid, random liquid, and I still, I don't know what, uh, you know, what, what I had there. So, so I would like to know that. So I'm just putting my new sample there, and I'm just analyzing it again. So I go through the same uh, process, which is uh, exactly the same. Uh, first uh, red, then going to green, and then going to blue, and we're almost there. Okay, and we are there. And now uh, we're gonna match the sample. That means that the system is going to tell us what's that. You know, it's going to compare uh, these current readings with the uh, readings we've been storing before. So let's see. Let's just go to match sample, and it's going to. Okay, you know, it's comparing both samples. Okay, the values are exactly not the same because the conditions, you know, change. The temperature may affect the light, everything. So you can see this sample. This uh, the green absorbance is exactly the same, really precise, and the blue observance is uh, yeah, almost almost uh, the same. And of course the system say, hey, I recognize this, it's apple, it's not whiskey, it's apple. <laughs> so, so yeah, I think it's a really cool application. And uh, yeah, if you wanna uh, give it a look, the chip is here, if uh, you can make a zoom here. Is this body here, and is the AD7175, too, but we'll put the, all the links below so you get to know it and uh, get it, you know, give it a look on the data sheet. And that, that was uh, pretty much it. So, 
Uh, Jaime here, uh, reporting from the uh, Mauser stand, uh, Embedded World, Nuremberg, Germany. Thanks guys, if you like, uh, please like, subscribe, you may find all the info below, and see you next time, bye bye.